Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna be interviewing TJ Nelson about his experience with the PhD Cyber Ops from Dakota State University. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Cyber. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Just so you know, this channel is designed for people trying to get into information security, or if they're already there, to take their career further, faster. I had made a video about my experience with DSU's PhD Cyber Ops program, and it actually was really well received by the community. I recently interviewed TJ Nelson for my Choose Your Own Adventure series as a malware analyst entry level position, but while I had TJ all mic'd up in the studio equipment set up, I asked if he'd be interested in being interviewed about his experience with the PhD Cyber Ops program. Now, the interesting thing is, when I gave my perspective, I had already graduated and I was looking back retrospectively. TJ is just finishing coursework and is about to start his dis or he's about to defend his proposal for his dissertation, so he's right in the thick of it. So I thought it might be an interesting contrast to get his perspective and his thoughts on the program. So without further ado, let's take a look. Hi, I'm TJ Nelson. I am a DSU PhD student uh, in the Cyber Operations Program. So I'm just finishing up my last semester of coursework and I will be shortly defending my proposal as well as doing my oral comprehensives to finish out my coursework curriculum. I think the curriculum gives you a really good broad understanding of cyber operations as a whole and cybersecurity. You go really deep and in, in-depth in with a lot of those topics such as uh, core needs for cybersecurity such as reverse engineering, such as uh, operating from an offensive and de defensive standpoint. Uh, it really does give us a, a good and broad understanding of the different things that we would need to do to be successful in uh, industry. The faculty has actually been really supportive and oftentimes you'll hear that students are working with faculty on external stuff. Uh, they have a labs called Mad Labs that allows you to engage with uh, some of the faculty leaders in that program to work on side projects, uh, develop your uh, coursework a little bit more. So if you did a project in one class and you wanted to take it a little bit further, you can actually you know, move that into Mad Labs and really dig into that research project. The other students are coming from various uh, backgrounds. So some are coming from academia and then others are coming from industry. And I think the blend really does help us learn from each other. Uh, half the program is uh, academic research. And that is a very, very uh, strict <laughs> and uh, rigid way of explaining and understanding knowledge. So under getting the understandings from the academic uh, students are really are, is really helpful for us and then from an industry side I'm sure that they like the anecdotal information that we provide for them of what we see in the industry and how some of our coursework applies. Right now I am currently drafting my proposal. Uh, the proposal is something that you present to your committee to get approval to work on your dissertation. Your dissertation is something that you and your or your uh, academic uh, facility will agree upon for you to say this is what we would like you to research and be conferred on. And so I'm working on the stages of being able to propose so that I can get approved to actually do my dissertation work. Uh, after that, you work on your dissertation, then you have to defend that. Uh, so I'm really in the beginning stages of the dissertation work and just finishing up the coursework side of it right now. A lot of the uh, students in our program uh, work full time and also take the coursework and are working on their dissertation. So you're juggling a lot of uh, responsibilities and then you pair that in with you know regular life and family life because a lot of us are working professionals. It definitely does uh, tax <laughs> your family, yourself, and you know those are things that you need to consider when you're going into this program. But it really takes a lot of time management and, and working on uh, making sure that you always get out of the house and, <laughs> and relieve some of that stress every once in a while. If you are thinking about applying to the DSU program particularly, make sure that you have a good background in some of the areas that you see on the curriculum online. Uh, reverse engineering, uh, programming is gonna be really important there. Uh, make sure that you want to do it. Time-wise, it's going to be very taxing on you. You wanna make sure that you have the time and you're gonna be able to commit the many years to actually go through with the program. Uh, and then also, 
maybe take a class. Try it before you jump in and, and see if it's a good fit because you're going to be not only taking classes, you're going to be working with faculty, you're going to be writing papers, you're going to have to come out and uh, do certain events. So you want to make sure that this is something that's going to be uh, meaningful at the end of your journey. One of the hardest things about being in the program is that it, we do move through things a lot faster than normal. It's good because we are working professionals and we want to get the work done, but we also don't have uh, time to sort of sit and reflect on the, some of the stuff that we've, we've done throughout that time. Uh, a lot of the prior graduates are still involved, and I think that they actually have the best uh, viewpoint because they can actually come in and really get meaningful interactions after the fact so they don't have homework due next Monday or anything along those lines. So it works out really well for them. I'm going to be really happy to be, be in that stage. You got to make sure that the program that you sign up for is tailored towards you. I mean, it's really important to look at the curriculum, look at some of the professors that are there, uh, read some of the papers. I think I did a lot of uh, open source intelligence gathering when I was uh, trying to figure out what program I wanted to be in, and th they're all not the same. They're all very, very different, and they offer very different things. And if you want to go more theoretical, you need to find a program that's more like that. If you want to be more practical, you need to find a program that's more like that. Thanks a lot, TJ. Really appreciate you giving your perspective and your time on that interview. Now, now for you watching, this is a second uh, interview of a review of kind of the, the program. I myself did one, which I'll link to right there, uh, on my experience as a graduate. And this is, you know, TJ in the middle of the program. So hopefully uh, you can uh, be better informed and have more perspective on, you know, really what that program is like and what the expectations can be. Until next time, thank you and stay secure.